showtime. And good evening, high school sports fans, and we welcome you once again to another edition of the Big Time Sports. I'm the Mellow Tones of Charlie Jones, and tonight in the house, not one, but two area legends. I've got Roger Metzger, and you remember Roger. It don't get any better than a Roger Metzger story on the Big Time Sports. How about Percy Gardner? Executive Director of the Rainbow Telethon Connection, past Cleveland Indian, past Dover football and basketball and baseball great. So I've got two big-time sports guys, Roger, of course, now with Big Time Sports, Percy, of course, our podcast host, and we're going to talk more about that when we bring the guys in from the bullpen. But we've got a good one tonight. Percy Gardner and Roger Metzger in the house with Old Mellow Tones. We got one big game this weekend. We are going to go to Mount Union University. The Purple Raiders are taking on the Marietta Pioneers in college baseball. This is a college baseball game. Mount Union against Marietta. The big time sports guys will be on campus Saturday afternoon. You can watch the replay of Marietta. Mount Union, Saturday night at 7, and again Sunday at 2. Before I throw it to my first break, I want to remind you we have a 20-game spring sports schedule. High school baseball, high school softball, college baseball, college softball. So it's all happening here, right here at the Big Time Sports. I'm going to step back, take a quick break. Roger and Percy are coming through our security gate as I speak. We'll be back with two of the best you'll ever find in T County sports after you watch this from Ferris, Chevrolet, Buick, Toyota. Discover the perfect blend of reliability and style in the 2024 Chevy Trailblazer at Ferris Chevrolet on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. Our dealership stands as your premier destination for the latest Trailblazer models, each boasting a range of impressive features and unparalleled durability. Don't miss out on the opportunity to secure the best deal. Hurry in today. Visit Ferris Chevrolet in New Philadelphia and experience the thrill of driving your very own Chevy Trailblazer. We all have something in common. 206 things, actually. And we at Cleveland Clinic care about every single one of them. From the tip of your finger to a brand new hip, Ohio's best orthopedic care will keep you going while keeping you safe. For every break and breakthrough, for every bone and joint, for every care in the world, Cleveland Clinic. Get the care you need when and where you need it. Visit clevelandclinic.org slash access. Wendy's breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. This squared. Egg and cheese biscuit and sausage biscuit. Two biscuits. I'm impressed Tyler knew what squaring was. Math nuts. No matter what you call it, choose wisely. Choose Wendy's breakfast two for three. Wendy's breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. This squared. Egg and cheese biscuit and sausage biscuit. Two biscuits. I'm impressed Tyler knew what squaring was. Math nuts. No matter what you call it, choose wisely. Choose Wendy's breakfast two for three. Welcome back to the Big Time Sports Show. Tonight we've got two very special guests and I introduce them to you in my opening segment, but guess what? Both of them, and I'll tell you what, this, you're talking about making history, Percy and Roger both made it through my security gate, so they're both <laughs> here on the set now with us. Welcome aboard, guys. <laughs> Let me introduce them. The guy that looks like the American Idol. Taylor Hicks. Yeah, Taylor Hicks. He was just in town not too long ago. What, he was? Yeah, you didn't know that? Well, you know who Taylor Hicks is? I do not. <laughs> wow, he sang, as a matter of fact, the American Idol show back in the day about 10 years ago. Oh, more than that. More than that. Was Roger Metzger's, this is no kidding, I thought it was Roger Metzger. Doppelganger? On my TV <laughs> yeah, screen. Exactly. And what did he do? He did Jailhouse Rock? I don't know. Okay, but you're famous for being a Taylor Hicks lookalike. <laughs> yeah, no, you were making me famous for being a Taylor Hicks lookalike. But anyway, you are, of course, tell everybody out there that you are actually Roger Metzger. I am. I am, except no substitutes. No, all right, now, in between Roger and I, okay, my young friend, Percy Gardner. Percy now, I'll tell you, he's the executive director 
yeah. of the Rainbow Connection Telethon, but we're going to talk a little bit more to Percy about what he's been doing and what his aspirations are. We're going to talk high school sports, the three of us here, for about the next 22 minutes. So, guys, welcome aboard, my friend. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me, Charlie. All right. So, guys, who wants to step up to the plate first? Uh, Roger? Yeah, I'm not good at stepping you're up not, to the plate. You're, you know. <laughs> you want to be the leadoff hitter? No, I'm, not, I'm not even good at being a leadoff hitter, but I'll, yeah. I'll, do, I'll do whatever you want me to do, Charlie. <laughs> Percy, they kept Percy. Roger, you remember the day when Percy was playing baseball? He never got near a bat rack. No. Nope. Okay? And there was a reason for that, okay? He could throw, they didn't want me to do too much damage. That's why I'm he can throw his fastball <laughs> through a car wash and not <laughs> even get, get it wet. wet. Yep. Okay, but I'll tell you what: with a baseball bat, uh, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, it ain't gonna. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Roger, my young friend. What yes. Do you, okay. So, you're a legend. No. Okay. Oh yes, you are. You're a legend in sports reporting. Yes. Sir. Uh, are you kidding me? No. A lot of people out there in TV land cut their teeth. Is that what I should I say? Cut their, <laughs> your teeth. Cut their teeth on on Roger Besker's reports. Okay, your stories. You kept everybody informed. Tried to. Tried to about what's going on with high school. Tried sports. to for many years at the so Times Reporter. Many yeah. years means how many years were you with the Times Reporter? Thirty six. Thirty six years. That's a long. Time. That's a long time. I'm only thirty five. Wow. I know. That's right. That was, that's I know. Right. Think about that. I know. You were reporting I saw before. this. Absolutely. Don't these young guys make you kind of oh, like, oh, yeah. me too. Yeah. Me too. Look at it. Look, big chest, big arms. I mean, that was me five years ago. Exactly. You know exactly. <laughs> hey, so Rod, 36 oh, years for the Times Reporter. And then my job was eliminated. And then you graciously reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to do a little bit of reporting here and there? And I said, ah, I just want to take a break for a while. And, uh, and then you talk, you kept after me, kept, kept after bugging, yeah. you kept bu bugging me. And uh, last uh, January you asked me, I said, sure, I'll do a weekly something for you. And I have So done, here you are. I here I am. It. I enjoy it. So, I so Rob, tell everybody what you're doing now for Big Time Sports. On uh, Rod, uh, the uh, Big Time Sports uh, website, I contribute a uh, an article every week, kind of like a what where they are, where are they doing now? Yeah. You know, some of those high school kids that that you've known in the past and stuff like that. You know, what what they're doing now, college wise, or maybe even uh, like in the adult world, what they're doing. So, I mean, uh, I enjoy doing that, trying to keep people. Uh, up to date on what kids are doing. That, you know, this week, nice uh, Roger, this week you did a great, another great story on a nice young lady, a product here of Tuscarawas County, Lauren Contini. That was that was easy. All I had to do is come over here and watch watch her talk with you. And <laughs> could you imagine that? He sat right there while I did this. I'm doing all the work again, <laughs> Percy. You get me? I'm doing all the work. He ain't even taking any notes. I uh, know. I had my tape recorder rolling. Oh, See what I mean? I'm going to have to watch that one. Or oh, yeah. I'm going to have to read yeah. that one. Uh, I don't want to watch you try. I want to read this one because I, I read a, uh, one of his articles about um, uh, a young lady who graduated with me, not with me, but the same year from Riverview. Oh, uh, Kristen yeah. Dockerty. Yeah, so I watched her and... You know what she did to my tornadoes back in the day was not oh, nice. But she was something else. But now I'm gonna have to read the the one on Lauren. So now, I Rod, you think that see you think that your stories see your stories really make an impact. I mean, not only for big time sports, but also for our many fans out there. I just did a first quarter numbers report. Okay. Of our social media, our website, our Facebook, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that Kristen and I'm gonna show it to you after the show. You remind me. Mm -hmm. That story you did on Kristen Doherty, I think it was somewhere, it was over 200,000 people. No. Yes. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> wow. Seriously. Went to that story. And that's all the money I'm getting from you? Is <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, but wait a minute. I was just going to tell you this. Am I going to get a raise? You know, maybe, perhaps, perhaps you should be talking to ESPN. Oh, well. <laughs> that's why I was going with this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm loyal to you, Charlie. I'm never going to jump you. I'm never going to leave you for ESPN. <laughs> Do you know that it, I had to talk to your wife uh, to have her convince you to come on board the big time I know. sports team. You, you badgered me and you badgered her too. Hey, I mean, that's what you did, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come no, on. It did, no. <laughs> now, here's the difference between you, Raj, okay, and the rookie here, Percy Gardner. <laughs> it took me, oh, it took me maybe three or four emails, a couple phone calls. Yeah. I drove past your house one night, beat the horn, and waved <laughs> at you. You know, you out cutting the grass. <laughs> 
So it took me a while, you know, to get you on board. But yeah. with Percy Garner, I bought him one cup of coffee at the Mission Cafe, oh, and boom, man. he was He's leaving, in. baby. He He's was in. on board. Don't believe it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So, so Rod. So this week is Lauren Cantini. Yes. Story. Can you give us a little? Hint, a little yes. sneak preview of little what's nugget. coming next Believe week. Believe it or not, I actually have got, got a good start on it, and um, it'll be next Monday. Ben Ham. Ben Ham. I ben, ben, ben Ham. Ben Ham. Benny Ham is now at Ohio State, former Dover yeah. standout yep. football player, basketball player. He's a student manager for the for the basketball team, the men's basketball Didn't team. Didn't know that. Oh. That's going to be a great story. Ben Ham, former Dover so athlete, I'm, and, of course, yep. Ben Ham. Okay, looks at Percy Gardner as one of his heroes. Oh, you got to. That, that's true. I know this stuff. Well, All that's because right. he was young when he saw me. Yeah, it was young when he saw me. <laughs> okay, guys, guess what? My executive producer, Ty Simulink, is telling me, Charlie, it's time to throw it to a break. Now, do you know what a break means in, in media talk? I know Percy does. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, uh, you just uh, turn off the camera and they go to a commercial, right? Uh, is that see, what it is? See, that's why he's on the big time sports team now. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Two legends here in Tuscarawas County, Percy Gardner and uh, Roger American Idol Metzger. We're going to step back, take a break. We'll be back soon after you watch this from Roger's favorite automotive dealer. It's Ferris Chevrolet Buick Toyota. Discover the perfect blend of reliability and style in the 2024 Chevy Trailblazer at Ferris Chevrolet on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. Our dealership stands as your premier destination for the latest Trailblazer models, each boasting a range of impressive features and unparalleled durability. Don't miss out on the opportunity to secure the best deal. Hurry in today. Visit Ferris Chevrolet in New Philadelphia and experience the thrill of driving your very own Chevy Trailblazer. Altman is here for you, in your community, because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team, joined together, and committed to one mission, to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. The other guy's insurance, you got Kyle. Hey Kyle, it's Brenda. I was just reading through your proposal and I have a few questions. When we drafted up your proposal, we really aimed right down the middle. Sometimes wonder if your insurance agent true priority is more time on the golf course. At Hummel, we do insurance differently. Our expert advisors help you not only mitigate risk, but operate more efficiently. Decrease employee turnover and increase your bottom line. Welcome back to the Big Time Sports Show. Percy Gardner and my old buddy Roger Metzger on board tonight. We're talking Tuscross County athletics, okay? We talked to Roger in that last segment about uh, what he's doing for Big Time Sports, where he's been with the Times Reporter, of course. This time around, we're going to bring Percy into the batter's box, and we're going to find out what's going on with young 35-year-old <clears throat> Percy Gardner. Percy? Welcome to the show, my friend. Some people might have thought I was in my twenties still. Why you got to put my? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, everything's good. Um, you know, we had a, a successful fundraiser, so I'm happy. People are generous in Tuscarawas County, which is no surprise. Okay, so let's go back a couple years. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, the big time sports guys used to capture you on camera, a, on the football field, b, on the basketball court, and c, of course. We did a few high school baseball games back in the day when you were throwing BBs across the plate. So, high school, football. Yes. But basketball was your favorite sport. But Was it not? Yeah, but talent-wise, it was the lowest on the totem pole. <laughs> did you feel, did you think that you were the be a better baseball player or a better football player in high school? In high school, I felt like I was a better football player. Um, I admired the game more. I studied more in football. I loved watching film. I loved correcting myself. Uh, in baseball, I was kind of just out there slinging it, not knowing what I was really doing. And uh, it showed. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so let's go now to Muncie, Indiana, mm. home of the Ball State mm. Cardinals. Correct. So take us back to the campus of Ball State and tell us a little bit about uh, what happened there one day when uh, you had a little bit of a big turn in your life. Yeah, so uh, Muncie, I love that place. I wish I was able to graduate from there, but ended up graduating from Northeastern University in Boston. But um, enjoyed my time there. Ended up, I got to attend college with, you know, one of the best wide receivers ever in history in Tuscarawas County, and that's Daniel Ift. And uh, great experience. And um, they recruited a big guy out of Texas. And I was supposed to be the next quarterback when Nate Davis left and went to the NFL. But things changed. So uh, I decided to change course and try out for the baseball team. Had to try out. And uh, it started out rough, but they gave me a couple chances. And, you know, God was on my side. And I was able to <laughs> throw the ball near the catcher. <laughs> and uh, the catcher. was able to join the team. Yeah. And then uh, a year and a half later, I was drafted in the second round, 2010, by the Philadelphia Phillies. You saw, Roger, imagine this. Here's Percy Gardner at Ball State mm -hmm. on a football scholarship. Big dog. He is going to start taking the snaps for the Ball State Cardinals. All of a sudden, guess what? Here comes this guy from Texas. And it, it happens. This guy's college. a gunslinger, yep. baby. Yep. And Percy thought, wait a minute. I better start looking another direction here. So he's walking down the hall one day, and on the bulletin board in the athletic complex, and this is a true story, on the bulletin board. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me it's a true story, but i got to hear it from him. <laughs> is well, that a true story? Well, well, take it from there. First, tell them about uh, the bulletin board. Well, I want to throw in there that uh, the quarterback's name was Kelly Page. He was 12th in the nation, and he was committed to Oregon, but then decided to come to, to Ball State and ruin my life, what I thought at the time. Um, but, you know, Mr. Kevin Keffer has been telling me that I should have been playing baseball this whole time. So I'll give him some credit, Keffer. Um, but, uh, but no, I, I, they, they were nice. They had already had their tryouts and they had heard of me, but I didn't have a spot sitting on the team. So, I mean, you can kind of picture it where you're going up to see baseball tryouts. They had passed. And, uh, luckily coach Greg Bills, who had a stint, 12 year stint in Ohio state because of me, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but now who's at Marshall, uh, coaching their baseball team, uh, great coach. And, uh, he was able to, you know, get out of me. Uh, as much as he could in the, the year and a half that he had me. And uh, he was one of those coaches that was not trying to hold you back to get more wins in college. He was trying to prepare you for the next level, and I always admire that. That's the kind you need, right? Yes. And uh, my career there was great, and uh, I was able to get drafted by the Phillies. Now, that marriage wasn't that great, but we can go into that if you want. Okay, so, from the, okay, so, from the, so you get drafted by the Phillies. Okay, yes. so what's your next stop? So there were some struggles I had with the Phillies, so I'll give them some leeway. I struggled pitching with them. Um, so they released me in 2015, March 2015. Thought my career was over. I was having dinner with my family, just got home. And I get a call from a 216 number, and I said, you know, I turned to my wife and I said, what if this is the Indians? Like, joking around. And I pick up the phone, and it was the Cleveland Indians. No kidding. At the wow. time, they were the Cleveland Indians, yes. Roger, can you believe that? I, see, that's the story I haven't heard. I mean, uh but that, are you I mean, taking notes? Because this may be a, <laughs> hey, this could be a, this this could be a, a story new, down the road. Maybe a new story for you, yeah, down the road. <laughs> well, I'm, do you remember who was that, that contacted you? Do you remember? His, yes, his name was Paul Gillespie. Paul Gillespie called me. I know my local scout from that area was Junie Melendez, who I really loved, and I wish they would have drafted me. Uh, I think they had the 55th pick in the 2010 draft, but I won't hold that against them. Um, we were able to, you know, have a a great uh, little time there at the end of my career. Got to go to the World Series. Didn't win, but we'll take the second place ring. Um, but, uh, you know, that team was great. Great manager, obviously, Terry Francona. And just great team. Great, you know, even, you know, Trevor Bauer was my locker mate. Everybody was just, you know, very nice yep. and wanted to just su succeed and play as a team. So it was, it, was, uh, it was a good experience for me. All right, guys, I got to throw it to... My last break. Another break? Yes, another break. And <laughs> Roger, what does it mean when I say I have to throw it to a break? You shut off the camera and play a commercial. See, he, he pays attention. He's got it down. He's yeah, got it down. okay. So <laughs> Percy and Roger in the house for those mellow tones. We got one more round coming up, so stay right there. We'll be back after you watch this from Percy Gardner's favorite automotive dealer. It's Ferris Chevrolet. 
Buick Toyota. Altman is here for you, in your community, because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team, joined together, and committed to one mission, to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. I'm Dr. Michele Ayono. At Advancing Athletics, our Fuel Move Recover philosophy can help anyone be their best. Here's what thriving looks like. I'm an FMR athlete. I'm an FMR athlete. I'm an FMR athlete. From high school to aging well, no one will take care of you and your kids better than us. I wanted something that I could learn a little bit more about what I was passionate about. I wanted to learn a trade that would always be in demand. Buckeye has so many opportunities for everyone. You're here because you want to do what you came here to do. This is the best choice that I've made. Uh, I just think it's set me up to be a better person. All right, we're back once again for the final lap of tonight's big time sports race. And we I've got two of the hottest cars, two of the hottest racers in T County. My buddy, Roger, American Idol Metzger, along with the rookie in between us. This is Percy Boom Boom Garner. And Percy, when we took that last break, we were talking about you and your baseball days. Mm -hmm. So why don't you get into now the Indians, and tell us about your debut that Smoochie and I watched from our recliners. Uh, you mean the debut that my uncle doesn't want to turn in his DVR because it's saved on there. So oh, no. he's got it saved. Oh, is that uh, shout out to, you know, Uncle Grover, Avery. <laughs> okay. um, but no, it was, uh, it was pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, not ever going to forget it, for one. Wish it would have been a longer career, but my debut was... I didn't think I was going in the first game, so I thought I was just going to chill, relax, yeah. and soak in, you know, what was going on. Uh, but one of our starters had a long, uh, um, Josh Tomlin yeah. had a bad outing. So, mm -hmm. sorry, Josh, if you are watching this. Um, but he had a really bad outing, so our pitching staff was down to a minimum. And uh, we had we were in a saving opportunity, and Cody Allen was going to come in, and he was going to save it, and I wasn't going to have to worry. I was just going to sit there, eat candy, sunflower okay. seeds, and just soak it all in the ambience. Okay. But then we scored two more runs in the bottom of the eighth. And it's not a safe situation. So no longer needed Cody. And the phone rings. And my, whew, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's uh -oh. like, Percy, get ready. And I'm like, whew. And if you've ever seen Progressive Field, you got to walk up 85 flights of stairs to get to the bullpen where I'm actually throwing. And I'm already out of breath. So that added to it. And then I'm warming up, warming up, warming up. And then it's time for me to go in. We won't talk about my first throw almost going out of the stadium. Yeah, but <laughs> Yeah, that was a pitch. That was a pitch, Roger. Because Smoochie and I both said, okay, now throw this ball across the plate, yep. Percy, to his first pitch. Yeah. But, um, but no, then I had to go down all those stairs, and all I was thinking about was don't fall because I couldn't feel my legs. They were gone. I was just floating, levitating to the mound. Didn't want to fall and just want to make sure uh, – that I did my best, obviously. But the thing that I want to let everybody know is you know how they say, ooh, the lights are brighter. They really are. It was probably almost 10 o'clock by that time. We know baseball is long games. Yep. And this was the end of the game. And I felt like it was noon. It was so bright there. And I was like, wow. Because in the minor leagues, you know, catchers got to paint their fingernails lime yeah, green. So you, so you, <laughs> so you can so, see. Yeah, yeah. Not, so yeah, not the big leagues. But um. It was good. Everything was good. I left, uh, except I left the game. I had a strikeout, got my first strikeout, left the game with two runners on. And then Brian Shaw, one of my favorite teammates, came in, got two quick strikes on a the guy, then threw into the backstop, let my run come in, then struck the guy out. He apologized. But, <laughs> yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, my ERA wasn't that great after game one. <laughs> but it came down, and I had some, some good games after that. My best game was against Houston Astros. 
Struck out Jose Altuve on three pitches. Wow. Okay. All yeah. Right. Yeah. And then my agent bragged about it on social media. Then he had to take it down. I'm like, look, I don't want to target on my back yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. So okay. So you're fa- <clears throat> if you got a full count on the hitter and you need, you know, to ring him up. What pitch are you gonna throw? It's you're easy. You're gonna wait. Whatever the catcher says, you're gonna wave him off. Oh yeah. You want to throw what? My sinker. It's my, it's my pitch that got me where I am, and the location would change. If it's a lefty, I would front hit, hip him on the two-seam sinker, and he would shy away. And then a right-hander, I would go to my arm side, which would dive into him, or it looks like it's going down the middle, and then dive into his, his back foot. Now, Roger, what you don't know first, Roger is really a baseball fanatic. Uh-huh. He knows more about baseball oh, probably than... Tito Francona. Let's, 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 not, let's not get crazy, but you know I do what? love baseball. No well, Roger goes all the way back with Bernie Tibbetts. Have you ever heard of Bernie Tibbetts? No. We well, tell him who Bernie he was. He's the manager of the, of, of the Indians. Come on, now. He, are you kidding me? Yeah. He I'm, was the. I mean, guy I remember Mike Hargrove. <laughs> you know Mike Hargrove. I remember, oh, okay. I remember Francona's father. No. <laughs> okay, so let's now go present day. Okay, mm-hmm. so present day, you're in the charitable giving business. Mm hmm. You are the executive director of the Rainbow Connection Telethon. Correct. You just had your annual telethon, and you hit another new record. How yes. many? Yes, $328,000, 91, well, let's say $328,091.66. You know what's special about that 66, Charlie? Roger? No, I don't. That was my number. number that's right. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> All right, so can you tell everybody out there in TV land who the executive producer of the telethon is? I think it's Mike Schreffler. Or... Uh, <laughs> no. uh, that hurts. That really hurts. Is it hurts. Dean? You no, mean, no. You mean Mike? I say Mike's name. I'm sorry, Mike. You're the best. Okay. He's the floor general. He keeps me where I need to be, Charlie. I didn't even see you there. Were you there? I was I there? Does a chicken spit? <laughs> I spent six grueling hours out in that out in that truck of mine. Okay? Oh, you were in the truck. Okay. Yeah, yeah, with four other people. Can gotcha. you imagine five of us? I'm so sorry. You're the you're the yeah. director. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, so now let's go to the Big Time Sports podcast show. Mm-hmm. Talk about that for a minute. Yeah, well, you know, I was you know I made my own podcast up so I can get ready to take on this role at Big Time Sports. <laughs> no, I just love podcasting and. Um, you know, a spot opened up here on the big time sports team and Charlie asked me if I wanted to join and I said, why not? You know, my wife, she doesn't see me enough. Might as well add to it. <laughs> right. right. By the way, by the way, I want to interject this. Percy's wife is my barber. Yes. Right? Yes, she is. Yes. Okay, and so that's Percy, why he's got a hat on right now. No, so for you, for you, for you. She's sport? great. She's great. I love right. you. Well, I have a hat on. If I can't. You want me to tell you why I'm wearing a hat? Why is that? I have no hot water. Oh, that's so I, couldn't, I couldn't jump in the shower, so I told you know I said I got to wear a hat because I couldn't take a shower today because I got no hot water. So you, you had to get the hair right, and without the shower you can't get it right. That's exactly right. 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 So guys, guess what? Ty says, "Hey guys, we got to go." Yeah. Now, <laughs> Percy, it's time to close the door on okay. the Big Time Sports Show. I never was a closer. But I that need was my... <laughs> you were Yeah, that's right. Well, that I, was my goal. But... We we saw that on TV one night, <laughs> right, Rod? <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, I need you to help me now. No errors. Yeah. I want a clean pick, clean strike. You ready? Yep. Keep your socks high and your powder dry. And bye bye. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>